BlackBerry Q10 expected second quarter 2013. One key feature that many BlackBerry users like about their phone is the physical keyboard, something that is becoming increasingly rare in the world of smartphones. But even though BlackBerry have taken a big step into the future with their new BlackBerry 10 platform, they haven't forgotten one of the features that sets BlackBerry devices apart. At first glance, the BlackBerry Q10 looks like any other traditional BlackBerry device. The keyboard looks like the one on the curve of the bold models with a familiar arrangement of carefully designed QWERTY keys. But above that is a much larger display than normal, and then it becomes apparent that there are a whole set of keys missing. Well, sort of missing because the BlackBerry Q10 relies very heavily on its touchscreen rather than the physical keys. In fact, when it comes to technical specifications, the Q10 is almost identical to the BlackBerry Z10, apart from the screen and keyboard. It shares an identical 1.5GHz dual-core processor with 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal flash storage, an 8MP primary camera, a 2MP secondary one, a micro HDMI port, GPS, NFC, LTE support, plus all the usual smartphone features you would expect. As far as we can tell, the primary choice between the Q10 and Z10 is about the screen and keyboard. The display is a 3.1 inch 720 by 720 pixel touchscreen panel, which is certainly a step up from the fairly grim one found in the BlackBerry Bold 9900, but it's obviously not as desirable as the one in the Z10. There is no slide down keyboard option as found in the Torch 9810, the choice is clear, keyboard or display, everything else is pretty much equal. Although it looks like a traditional BlackBerry on the outside, inside this is a completely different beast with a new operating system that actually looks like it belongs in 2013 rather than 2003. BlackBerry have been working very hard to build up a new application library because old apps are not compatible and it does seem that there will be a decent range to download when the Q10 becomes available. Die-hard BlackBerry fans have waited a long, long time for this device to be launched. Unfortunately for BlackBerry, it's quite likely that many of those fans are now ex-fans instead, but it is likely that the Q10 will at least pick up some interest from those corporate customers still in the BlackBerry ecosystem, and from then on, well, who knows? Perhaps if we'd seen this phone two years ago, then we might be more certain of success. BlackBerry indicate that the Q10 should be available in several worldwide markets from second quarter 2013 in black and white colour schemes, but the price is not known at the time of going to press.